Mokhtar Belmokhtar, a.k.a. One Eye, because he lost an eye fighting in Afghanistan, a.k.a. The Marlboro Man, because he made a living smuggling cigarettes. No Westerner knows him better than former Canadian diplomat Robert Fowler, who was his hostage in 2008. He would stand sentry duty, he would work in the kitchen, but there was absolutely no doubt who was the boss. He wasn't a flashy guy in any way. He was rather soft-spoken. But as soon as he began speaking, everybody would listen. Bill Mokhtar has been known to intelligence agencies as a leader of the North African affiliate of Al-Qaeda, called Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. They would tell me repeatedly, we fight to die while you fight to go home to your wives and kids. How can we possibly lose? They believed their fight was God's fight, and because it was God's fight, it would be won. They began under a different name, and in 1994 hijacked an airliner, which was stormed by French commandos, heading off a plan to blow it up over the Eiffel Tower. They later took the name Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb in an effort to attract more recruits. Bel Mokhtar even named one of his sons after Osama bin Laden. He's very tough. He seems physically demanding. He demands a lot of his people, and therefore, yes, I'd say, I'd say he's a tough enemy. Whatever name he operates under, Bel Mokhtar has suddenly emerged from the North African desert as America's newest enemy. David, thank you.